What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division Universe video. Now, shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's Division Universe video, we are going to talk about a news update uh, surrounding the Division Heartland, the Division Resurgence, and also the Division 2. So there's news that we need to cover about all three of these games that way it kind of keeps you up to date on what's going on, you know, around you in the Division universe. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already. We are making our way to 50,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the support. But let's jump into it. So in today's video, a lot of the topics are going to be on Twitter. So like uh, a lot of these discussion videos, you can find it all on my Twitter page at Kamikaze Von Doom. I share it. I retweet it. I join in on the conversation. I talk to the devs. I talk to other content creators. I even talk to the uh, main game page. So yeah, it would probably behoove you to uh, follow me on Twitter. That way you get all of this up to date news and you don't have to wait for a YouTube video. And then just a reminder, we're about to hit 11.5 million views. We're making our way to 48,000 subs, and we're about to hit 3,300 followers on Twitter. Now, let's talk about Heartland first, okay? Now, this goes to the Red Storm page. All right, so Red Storm. This is the official page of Red Storm Entertainment. This is a Ubisoft studio. Now, they are developing the Division Heartland. You can see it right here on their main page. Now, we've already had whispers about the Splinter Cell reboot, and they have also uh, been said to do a Assassin's Creed VR game that's supposed to come out in the future. But this obviously is going to be all about the Division Heartland. So, what did they post? Well, here it is on July 6th. So on July 6th, they posted this, and it says, save the dates. And then the first date is for the Skull and Bones Ubisoft Forward Spotlight, which was on July 7th, which looks really cool. I mean, it looks pretty pretty damn cool. Um, if you guys saw that, let me know in the comments what you thought about Skull and Bones. That might be a game to jump into. It seemed like it was pretty fun. Now, remember, trailers can make anything seem fun, so we'll, we'll see when we get there. However, the next date is Ubisoft Forward on September 10th. Now, there's nothing revolved around that except for it just says Ubisoft Forward. Now, Red Storm has not come out and said that they are, um, you know, developing any part of Skull and Bones. Maybe that's just like a big spotlight. All of these, you know, dev companies are trying to push it. However, I think they probably had something to do with Skull and Bones, even if it's just a little bit. We know that multiple Ubisoft dev teams help each other out to bring us, you know, whatever new game. So that's pretty cool. However, the Ubisoft Forward date is the date that's up for question because they are doing the Division Heartland, and the Division Heartland has been doing closed testing every single month, this month included. Every month they have been doing closed testing, and every single time some of the people will jump on social media and say how polished it looks, how good it is, how they can't wait for it to come out, blah, blah, blah. And it's getting to the point where it's like, all right, well, where's this game already? Now, there are uh, two events coming up. The first event is um, the Gamescom in the end of August. So at the end of August, we'll get Gamescom, and Ubisoft is going to be at Gamescom. And then in September, just a couple weeks later, we will have Ubisoft Forward. So assuming that the Division Heartland is going to be coming out September, October time frame, Ubisoft Forward and Gamescom are going to be the two big things you want to watch in preparation for a huge Division Heartland reveal or announcement. All right, so there is that. So Ubisoft Forward, September 10th, and then Gamescom should be August 20... Oh, let's see here. Gamescom. I believe it's August 22nd. 
if I'm not mistaken. Let's see here. Gamescom. Boom. So it is going to be August 23rd to the 28th. Okay. So Ubisoft will be at Gamescom. So just remember that as well. August 23rd to the 28th, we'll be getting a lot of Ubisoft news there. And then also at Ubisoft Forward a couple weeks later in September. All right. So that's it about the Division Heartland for now. So let's close that tab. And the next one, we are going to talk about the Division 2. So here is a post from Yannick. This is the creative director at Ubisoft Massive. And he's basically, you know, the overseer, the, the overlord of the Division 2 right now. Um, and he's saying right here, this is basically just a big PSA just to get people off their backs uh, while they're on vacation. Now it says, Agents. Just a heads up, July is traditionally a slow month for us as many people in the team take a summer vacation, myself included. Don't be surprised if we're less present online if things don't move much on the game. August, on the other hand, August will be fire or will be lit. Hold on. What, what do the kids say? The, the shit lit, fam. Yeah, there you go. So August will be lit on fire. Um, so with this, we obviously know, what is it, July 11th? So this week is the first week of vacations. We know that Paul A is the only senior director. Let's see right now. Boom. What does he say? Um, Paul A, the producer at Massive, was saying earlier that he's the only senior dev right now in the office this week because all the other devs are taking a vacation and that he'll be able to do vacation next week. So assuming for the next two weeks... We are going to have vacations for the dev team, which would roll us into August. And then August, we know, is going to be the PTS for title update 16 and season 10. We're going to get more manhunts, more weapons, more gear, more exotics, um, and what have you. Uh, we're also expo uh, expecting to get, what is it, the new difficulty systems for countdown. So this is going to be a pretty big update alongside, is this the update with the strongholds? I think we're about to get a uh, Tidal Basin and Manning National Zoo on Legendary. So Legendary uh, strongholds, we'll get two new ones of those. We'll have a new difficulty for Countdown, new weapons, gear, exotics, and then the new manhunts. So we'll be testing all of that out in August. So get ready, everyone, because you know I'll be, I'll be showing you guys everything within that PTS. Okay. So that's everything about The Division 2 right now. They're on vacation. Pretty cut and dry, right? All right. So let's... Uh, Let's start talking about the Division Mobile, shall we? Okay, so first and foremost, let's talk about the difference between the Division Mobile, which is the Division Resurgence, and the Division 2, or the Division Heartland. All of these are different things by different dev teams in different parts of the world with different budgets that all fall under Ubisoft. Now, a lot of people get confused and start blabbering their mouths on social media thinking they know something and they don't. And this is one of them. So, Pale actually had to publicly respond to this crap, and it was almost borderline embarrassing. So, the first one, it says, um, for the mobile games, it's made by folks who specialize in mobile games. Duh, it's a mobile game. The fact that he has to explain this to people is embarrassing. The fact that people think that massive developers who make the Division 2 are also making a Division mobile game is, like, it's so far-fetched, and it's beyond, like, untrue. The mobile game have their own mobile devs that do the mobile game. Pretty cut and dry, right? Now, he says, you don't put a AAA team on mobile games. Different teams with different skill sets. Pretty pretty self-explanatory, right? And then we get this one from Pale. 
every team in every studio operate as a unique business entity that is expected to take care of its own business. There is no centralized bucket of money. Other teams are spending their own money, not subtracting from ours. And this goes on with the same conversation where people are like, well, if they're doing a mobile game, they're not going to be able to do more Division 2. It's it, it's just dumb, guys. It, it's dumb. Obviously, the mobile game is being done by another team that's been working on it for years. But yet, still, people just think Division massive. And that's not true. The Division franchise is under Ubisoft. Massive was the main dev team for the Division 1 and the Division 2 with help from dozens of other dev teams from other studios around the world under Ubisoft. But the main dev team for the Division 1 and the Division 2 was Massive, correct. That does not mean anything about the Division Heartland or the Division Resurgence which is the mobile game. So the Division Heartland is going to be developed primarily from Red Storm, not Massive. Massive does not have anything in the Division Heartland at all. They are not a part of it. So all of you that keep going on social media and blowing up these devs, it's not true. So you got to understand that before you make yourself look dumb. And same with the uh, the Division Resurgence. The Division Resurgence is going to be a mobile game done by a mobile dev team. You are not going to have the same devs do every single game under the franchise's umbrella. Come on. This is common sense, but the fact that these producers and these game devs have to publicly state this, it shows how much harassment they are getting on social media and how they have to finally set the record straight because, you know, within the gaming industry, you already know this. It's common sense, but a lot of people are still harassing them and doing whatever, and they had to set the record straight. So good on them. Just so you know, the Division Resurgence is different from the Division Heartland, which is different from the Division 2. They all have different budgets. They all have different developers. And they are all doing different things on different timelines. They are all different. Okay. Now, let's talk about the Division Resurgence a little bit more. So the Division Resurgence posted this today, and it was pretty damn cool. This is about the brand new faction that is being introduced in the Division Resurgence. And it states, Meet the Freemen, known for their exotic, homemade weapons, outlandish clothing, and homemade armors. They are obsessed with scavenging and hoarding anything that could be of any possible use. Are you up for the challenge, Agent? And then it shows this screenshot. Um, We had the screenshot last week, so they're just reposting it, which is still really cool. So here we have a Freeman sniper. We have a, looks to be a grenader. And then we have this heavy. Now this is, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven saw blades in this, like, automatic cross-bolt-looking weapon. It looks awesome. It really does. Um, I can't wait to see this thing in action. Now, what I said and tweeted back at them under this photo is, is this heavy going to shoot out one saw blade at a time, or is it going to shoot out all seven at a time? That would be pretty wicked because you see this opening right here. This opening is pretty thick. I'm not sure if that's enough room for all seven blades to come out at once or how it's going to work, but it looks really, really cool. Anyways, that's the latest. This was posted today from the Division Resurgence Twitter page. So again, you can find them on Twitter or you can just follow me on Twitter. I'm already going to share everything they do and say. 
So, boom, you got it. Now, finally, the biggest question that has been looming with the Division mobile game being Resurgence. And it's from my buddy Buzz Lightbeer, Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. Now, Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer has been doing this every single day, and it's pretty damn funny, but it's for a good cause. This guy wants to know, is there PvP in the Division Resurgence? Now, we've been talking amongst ourselves, and we figured there are two big key aspects to the Division franchise that makes it the Division. One is being the PvP, and the other one being Hunters. Now, they have not said anything about Hunters in the Division Resurgence, and they have not said a word about PvP. Now, what they keep doing, and I'll click on this because I'm pretty sure they give him the same... Rev uh, yeah, they do. They, they've been giving him the same response every day. And it says, Hello, Buzz. You can play story missions and open world missions, both solo and co-op. And that's it. They're not talking... Oh, look. This person said, What about PvP and Hunters? <laughs> And that's what makes it the division is PVP and hunters. So as of right now, they are not answering this question, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Should there be PVP in the resurgence? Should there be hunters in the division resurgence? It is a mobile game, but they are uh, promoting it to be like a triple A uh, caliber game on mobile. And there you have it, everyone. So that is your quick update for the Division Heartland. So look out for those uh, upcoming um, conventions, I guess you could call it. Gamescom in August and Ubisoft Forward in September. Again, you can follow me on Twitter at Kamikaze Von Doom for all of this news as soon as it breaks. I share all of that and more. Anything really Ubisoft or Division related I, uh, I'm, I'm way in there, deep in the roots. But all right, let's get back to the game. So, oh, nice. Kicked me out. All right. So let's see here. What are my thoughts? Let's start with The Division 2. So The Division 2, they're on vacation right now, and they're on vacation next week. Um, that means that they're going to be super quiet on social media, and there's probably not going to be any sort of um, big patch or maintenance update or anything of the sort until they come back. Now, when they come back, they're going to be getting ready to push that PTS for title update 16 and season 10. So that's going to be very exciting. Um, this is like the calm before the storm, I guess you will. And I'll play a little bit of PVP while I finish talking. Now, this calm before the storm, don't freak out. The game obviously is not dead. We have already gotten confirmation that we're going to get content all the way through March of 2024, and that is guaranteed. We are already going to have a year five, which will start next March, and then that will carry on an entire year. So we're going to get seasons 10, 11, 12 for year four, and then we're going to get 13, 14, 15, 16 for year five. So right now we are in season nine and we are guaranteed to go up to, what was that? Season 14, 16. So we're going to get 10, 11, 12. Yeah. 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah. So we're going to get all the way up to season 16 for the division two before we start talking about the division three or whatever, what have you. Which is pretty cool. I'm excited. So this next uh, two weeks, expect a lot of build videos, conversation videos, maybe some live streams. We'll have some fun while the devs are away. And then when the devs come back, we'll get ready for the PTS. All right. Now Division Heartland. Everything's been quiet. I've even asked uh, Terry Spire if I could get a yellow jacket and a skull mask for the Division Heartland. And he basically said he can't say. Okay. I get it. Um, but... Gamescom, end of August, Ubisoft Forward in September, two exciting things that will probably both have Division Heartland news. And then finally, the Division Resurgence. Uh, they have already stated that Alpha closed testing will be starting shortly. 
So make sure to look at your emails if you've already registered for the alpha testing. They have not confirmed any sort of PVP or hunters yet. So let me know what you guys think about that. And let me think, anything else? Um, they do have that new faction. I am excited to see it, um, but we'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm weary when it comes to this mobile game. I've never really played a mobile game of that caliber or anything really. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be exciting. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm gonna finish this PVP match and have some fun. So don't forget, hit that like, subscribe to the channel. I am Kamikaze Von Doom, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone. Peace.